Yeah. Sapphire, best Tamaha. Sapphire? Disc. Yes. <laughs> best overhand disc ever invented. Hey guys, it's Gavin Rathbun. I'm here with Albert. We're at Mill Ridge Disc Golf Course here in Nashville, Tennessee. And we're just gonna take you through our first time. Hole number one out of Mill Ridge is a 700 foot par four. You have to hit a hyzer through this initial gap. And then I think the second shot is like a forehand or turnover with OB on the left side the whole way. I would say we have the toughest conditions right now we could possibly have on this one right now. Yeah, I think so too. Just this is just terrible nothing. for both shots. Yeah. Let's see. I wonder if we, like, if you can cut it a little bit more. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Try to get more left. For sure, you want to be as left as possible. Did you play it like 2021 or last year? Uh huh. Okay. Like, uh, they added like I think the left side wasn't OB. And the tee shot was more like up, up somewhere there. So it was uh, quite a bit of a different hole, but like the course has changed quite a bit. Like you can see it's well manicured and everything. Oh yeah. So it's starting to like season really well. How was the off week? Good. Uh, we hung out in Arkansas. We went to horse races. How was that? We found Chris, the horse races were awesome, man. It was, everyone's dressed up all fancy, buying horses, <laughs> it's Did crazy. You win? Huh? Did you win? Uh, no, lost a little on the last two races. Okay. Calvin got pretty lucky though. <laughs> yeah, he nailed it at the last couple. Oh. oh, you son of a gun. Pretty out of oh. position over here. I think I think if this is the where I land in a tournament, I'm just laying up. So that's what we'll practice. Oh. One more of those. Is the basket side. actually in the woods? Yeah, it's like, uh, like if I would throw from here, I would have to cut it really close to the forest on the, okay. on, like in front of us. Just like squeeze by left of it. Hey, Are yeah, these yeah. the same judges from the Vegas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought I recognized them. <laughs> I need new ones now though. These ones are all... Fit in? Yeah, the new baskets the last couple weeks have just oh, killed yeah. them. The Texas State ones were rough. Yeah. Oh, man. There was a little nine hole course on the Airbnb we were staying at and uh -huh. those baskets were all really <laughs> fresh and sharp too. Oh man. It's like <laughs> every single time you putted. Wow, what a shot. Anyways, I was just thinking about the Latitude 64 Team Series discs that you can get with free shipping on orders over $20 and rewards points right now at dynamicdiscs.com. Kristen Tatar's Royal Grand Orbit Grace. She's got more of these coming out. These have a little bit more dome. This is an understable distance driver with a ton of glide. Johnny McRae's got his Gold Orbit Fuses. These are really controllable, understable mid-ranges, great for in the woods, and it's good to see Johnny McRae getting back out there. For Jakub Semerad, really hope I'm saying that correctly, we've got these Gold Orbit Ballista Pros. These actually have a good bit of dome too, so these are gonna be a bomber distance driver. And we have Opto Sapphires for Katie Ta. This is part of their uh, easy to use line. So it's a lighter weight, it's easy to throw, and if you hit it on the right angle, these discs go really far. You can find all these discs available right now with rewards points and free shipping on orders over $20 at dynamicdiscs.com. Now, how did you get in my office? Hall two. 
723 feet, uh, par 4. We got OB on right and left. Uh, the ideal position is where you can see the kind of cameraman heading to. You want to kind of keep it tight to the OB on the right side and like really test the forest. And that gives you the best like straight look to the basket. If you're going to be more left than that, you have to get tricky with the angles. But a true two, par uh, two shot par four. I think I will go like a Ballista Pro or a Recoil, kind of like just try to push straight to the forest and, the just, tree, yeah. and just try to fade before, but maybe like throw like a hyzer that's kind of stalling. I know the ground play was like quite fast when I last played it, but we'll see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. That uh, has to be good, right? I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Well, that's a freaking jungle. Okay. <laughs> what can I do? Got a full flight. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. Okay. Well, I don't have much from here. Well, that's probably the best too. Yeah, it's trouble over here. Yeah, the left Missed side to is the so right. tight. Yeah. I feel like also you can kind of like play if you hit those trees here. Yeah, because it's going to be hard for it to push all yeah. the way through. And it's, uh, yeah. Who I hope that the grass is not too high there. We'll find one here eventually. We're on to hole number three. Uh, it comes in at 277 feet, which might not sound too intimidating. But then you look at the hole and it's just, it's tough. I'm gonna try one flex shot and then I think just try to flick one into circle two or something. Give myself a look. Do you want to go before that V tree in the middle, you think? I have no clue. I think it's going to be hard to get it there if you yeah, go before that. Yeah, it has that. to be like a super tight flex. Okay. Oh, wow. Lucky. Oh, what? Lucky. <laughs> okay. Oh, that angle is just so terrible. It's so quite... Uh, but I think like if you throw like a flat to turn shot, that might work out too. Okay, we'll see. That's so sick. Oh wow. Okay, let's try it again. What was that? Super uh, overstable. That was, uh, that was like super stable Pioneer. Oh, you got it. Okay. We'll He's see. a cake. He's <laughs> twice her luck. Uh, well. Twice her luck. It's not luck. Yeah. Pioneer. Kind of again? myself wrong there. Was that Pioneer again? Uh, that was an uh, Optex Stiletto. So, like, yeah, the just... most stable dish I have in the back. <laughs> that is. Yeah, getting two discs inside the circle here is pretty good. Thank you. Good luck this week, boys. You too, man. Thanks, Eric. Oh, oh, there you go. Go. oh God. <laughs> got it. <laughs> okay. Hole four. Uh, first thousand feet plus uh, par five we got on this one. Uh, pretty much just bomb one out there and then bomb another and uh, hopefully have a decent look for up shot for uh, get inside the circle. Yeah. We'll see how it plays out. You said first, does that mean there's more than one? I think there's uh, the one, like two holes after this, it's gonna be one more. Okay. And then there's one sick part three.
Oh, oh man. That's the worst possible spot ever. <laughs> Nothing from there. Oh my gosh. Go that way. Hold it. Dude, I think that's all right. Yeah. Turned out all right. I thought it was just gonna go right out of bounds. Oh. Well. Eh. Consistent. Try to throw a hyzer. Oh. Are those the new enforcers of yours? Yeah. Damn, they look stable. Is there a difference between like, I don't know, some colors you feel like yeah, are yes. more stable? So the older run, the first run of them, if the rim was not super thick, uh -huh. it was pretty overstable. And those oh, ones yeah. are like, they get beat up and they hold the stability. The newer ones with the different stamp, they kind of get straighter a little sooner. Okay. I think so. Uh, it's, uh, sometimes it's interesting how a little bit of, like there's slight variations yeah. between uh, runs and like signs. That would be tough. That's like, that's probably the best thing I can do from here. So now just rip one off to the right? Yeah. If I'm sh correct, there's no OB on the right. All right. out there. Oh, ho, ho. oh I got a halt. Okay. Are those the circle flags right up there? No, that's um that's like 15, I think. Oh, okay. So it's uh no th those are not our flags. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, scary one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, buckets. Buckets. Out of position birdie. Yeah, that was kind of odd. But I wonder if like some guys can push it from the tee a lot more further. Like tailwind and stuff? Yeah. Maybe. I think so. At least a couple people if the wind changes a little. There will probably little. be looks for sure. Hole number five comes in at just under 600 feet. It is definitely a two shot hole. For most people, we'll just be playing a left to right shot right into the mouth. There's a bunch of trees to contend with and then about the exact same shot again. But some people will definitely be taking this high approach and just pretty much crushing it right at the basket. We're gonna go felon. Oh, that might even push through the gap there. As far right as you can go, right? Kind of? Yeah. But like, uh, I think you have probably even the chance to go through the, all the trees there. Do one side or one side. Uh, okay. Oh, that's short. Okay. One of those. Uh, can you give him a heads up that I will be throwing a turnover? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
one more. I think it went a little too far, but it was really good. Okay, I'll try one more. Okay, we'll see. The last one can be a little short. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. That one panned out. Panned out? Your first one went right the whole entire way. Wow, okay, so I have, huh. I was kind of trying to figure out like, okay, it's probably one of those holes that you have to throw it out there with the roller angle and then like, yeah, it will do its job. Yes, sir. Bullseye. And I'm just gonna take this one as lucky and that it might not happen very much in the tournament. Did you see the one that stalled out? Where it kinda... Um, all of them went long. One of them was back here. And then you're gonna have to ask him about the second one. Okay. I think he threw it past the hole. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> oh, they're both way out here, actually. Oh. Wow, so you have to go like... Super tight. Oh, you went trust on one of those? Yeah, that was like there. I was like, Oh my gosh. Heck? It's a really easy par. Yeah, but like... You really I mean, want to birdie chip, this one, probably. Yeah, chip, yeah. chip, and you have a birdie, so... I think the risk reward... I don't know, I have to you figure have it to, I cannot believe that it was with the mid-range. Yeah, I, was, I thought, like, I'm gonna be there with the mid. Oh, oh, perfect. Perfect branch, perfect. You absolutely love finding your own disc on the course. Shout out to whoever this is. I can't really read your name, but thank you for throwing the enforcer. I'll get it returned. It's a good one. I thought it was mine. I was questioning so much walking up like, well, where did I throw that at? <laughs> That's a good run. It's one of my favorites. Oh, it's so windy. Yeah. It's, it's you like, like the Savior? Yeah. I kind of like now, I don't have any harps in the bag right at the moment. So I kind of put one out last weekend. Oh, that's uh, what I wanted to ask. Do you have any of your truss? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I can uh, hook you up later. Ah, nice. Okay, let me walk you through the whole six round. Distances you can read yourself. Anyway, the key on this one is the tee <laughs> shot. If you're not over here with the tee shot, the bird is out of the question. From there, you can play like a flex shot here and then pitch up to the basket. But if you're not over here, like just flirting with the OB on the left, it's gonna be quite hard to kind of make it, make anything happen. It's possible, but takes quite a lot of creativity. Yeah. Ah, uh, push for it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness for tailwind. <laughs> I like that aggressive. Line. Oh, push. Yeah. We'll see. Go left. Yeah. And one. Ah. That thing was super flippy. Yeah. Okay, I, I got one, I guess. If that's how flippy we have to go. Holy smokes. <laughs> that was like 550 at least. That was my roller disc. <laughs> it was probably the easiest 500 plus shots I've For ever sure. thrown. <laughs> yeah. Do it in a blink of an eye. 
a little stallish shot I threw. I couldn't believe it made it that far. I know that uh, when the last time I played, kind of like the things are like a slight slope or something before the last OB, like on this side. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of tricky. Or like, I don't know, the depth perception is kind of yeah. funky. Uh, the second shot, you just want to land over to the left, right? Uh, like from there, you can kind of play like a flex shot. That's what I'm going to try, yeah. But like if you're like, just get, I don't know, if you end up right from the forest in the middle yeah. and not go OB, you have like an upshot, like fairly decent upshot okay. to the basket. Oh, it's not going to turn enough. Almost. I don't know. That one felt really good. I'm quite out of position here, but I guess that's probably the best option I have available here. Key is to move forward. Hell yeah. yeah. Sapphire, best Tama Sapphire? Disc. Yes. <laughs> best overhand disc ever invented. Is it fast? It's like 10, 6, minus 2 and 1. But it's like, it's like quite controllable. So like I used it in the woods quite a bit. And okay. then whenever I just need to like flick something and I don't know, get 300, like I'm just I nice and easy. Yeah, just from the wrist, wrist this thing can co go quite a bit. I see now. Oh, smart to lay it up right over here. Oh. Uh, oh, wow. Yep, need to go a little. Okay. It's tough to get there in two with the shape. Yeah, like That's the best. That's what makes it hard. I think, like if you're some crazy forehand guy. Yeah, maybe. get a big flexor. Yeah, but I don't know if it's worth it. Kind of. Not really. Pretty easy if you just pitched it right there. Yeah. That was the flex one? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. It's more of a straight-ish shot, but... Yeah, that's true. I actually can just... At least in the wind. I tried to flex one and I threw it right into here. It just didn't turn at all. Woo! Nice. What do you think is the best shot in this hole? Uh, I think not, not where we threw it. No, I mean like in this golf in general. Oh, best shot? Like, um, like the sexiest shot you can throw in this hole. Uh, a late flip for sure. Like something that's turning 250 to 300 feet. And like slow. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I would think I, I'm in the same, in the same category like those. I think it's the hardest shot for me to throw. I just try to rely on overstable disc too much. Yeah. Instead uh, of getting all creative. But I would say like the, those turnover shots, yeah, like some guys can throw like, you know, those 400 foot meets that oh, like yeah. flip like, I don't know, 350, like, damn. Makes so. it look way too easy. <laughs> Mill Ridge hole number seven, it's a 535 foot par three. Pretty big drop off. I think it might be hard to tell on camera. I saw a couple of Instagram stories. Just kind of want to send something straight. We have all the tailwind in the world. These discs will not be going right today. Come tournament time, it might be different, but I think I might throw a handful on this one. I think I'll try hyzer and then I'll try mid up the middle. What do you hyzer with? Uh, Blister Pro, I will okay. go like just, uh, I don't know, the tree on the right. Kind of like just try to go over that with an yeah. hyzer angle. Oh gosh. I thought it was gonna drop it more than swing it. Oh. Hey. Is 
Swing. Oh. Was too. that too far? It went kind of too straight, so I think like more angle and I think distance was okay. Okay. We're gonna try a ward and see if this wind won't just take it right to the basket. Oh, I like that. Oh. Okay. I don't hate it. I'm gonna throw one more. Go way slower around the outside. Uh, I'm not sure about any three of those shots. <laughs> I'll try one more with either. Oh, now you lift? Okay. I'll try one mid down the middle. Oh. Frisbee. No! Come on! Yes! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Roller coaster of emotions right there. I really don't know what to do. Hmm. Okay. What was that? Felon or? Uh, that yeah, it was felon. Okay. It felt super short to me. But maybe you even want to land short because like it's so downhill. Yeah, it's coming in so fast, yeah. especially in this wind. Like if you land like by the basket, you're like 60 feet past it. Yeah, not bad. I thought it was very short. Hole eight, like 315, uh, 98 meters ish. So, um, Quite straightforward, basket straight in front. Uh, I think for me it's gonna be like a mid or a fan grip fairway, kind of like trying to get touchy with it. There's a little bit of low ceiling going on, so I guess it's it's gonna be either between those two. Let's try this out. Oh, uh, there's the ceiling. Okay. Did you try mid-range? I tried mid, but I'm gonna try like a fairway. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm going with something faster. Oh, get up. Yeah. It was my explorer. I think the fairway is the play though. Like it feels way easier to hit the ceiling. Oh, I love that. Oh, better. Okay. My Sidearm? Nah. I feel the backhand is, I think my position on the tee was funky. It was, I was kind of like too tight off the tee and like, I don't know. That's probably why I pulled it to the right quite a bit. Miss it. Thank you. Oh. Oh, see ya. Oh, go in. Oh. oh. Close. <laughs> this was my sidearm. Oh, really? It felt so easy and like it couldn't hit a single thing. Huh, I think that's, yeah, you can get up to here fairly, like the easiest, I think, for sure. Oh, yeah. Maybe buckets. We have arrived to hole number nine. It's a 391 foot slow turning shot for a righty backhand player, it looks like. Uh, it's in between a fairway or a really hard thrown mid range. We're gonna find out it's slightly downhill. Looks like probably a tailwind out there. So we gotta commit over just a tiddly bit more. OB's right on the right side, Albert. 
Uh, yeah, like maybe like 10 feet in from the okay. forest line. What do you throw? Just a little bit more overstep. Ah, uh, evader. Turn. Oh, what happened there? Disc is magic. Yeah. Whoa, too far? Some uh, abracadabra happened in the middle. Oh, yes. I can't tell if it's getting there or not. I think it's gonna be like circle two for sure. I have a feeling like this. Those are close. Ah, oh, nose up again. Hmm. Hard time trusting the turn. I think it's like, there's OB line in the, in the forest there. That must be the hardest one to put in. Like, when you look how tight it is there, like, can you imagine, like, just stringing it up? Huh. I think the fairway might be the better play. Like, the low ceiling is kind of... Yeah. Very nice. And that's it for the front nine coverage out here at Mill Ridge. Make sure to stay tuned and catch the back nine on Gatekeepers. YouTube channel.